Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris as always and today I'm going to show you how to download and install the Oracle 19C database on Windows 10 and I'm going to show you how to download this database and after that I will show you how to set it in the proper way so as to avoid any errors. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead on my favorite browser. In this case, I'm using the Chrome and you can go ahead and type in the search bar you can type Oracle database download like this one and you go ahead and press enter and you can see that there will be a bunch of the links but the first link will be from the oracle.com which is the provider of the oracle database go ahead and click on this one the first link and you will be prompted with a lot of uh, options here and you can see the the current version oracle database version that you are going to install is 19c which is the current for the recording of this video when you scroll down you can see that uh, there will be a lot of installer and you can see the setup are somehow huge because it, it can be like three gigabytes so it will be worth it when you are downloading it you will be aware of how it weight okay when you take a closer look, there will be a, a package for the Windows and it have 2.9 gigabytes. You can go ahead and click on this uh, zip file so as to obtain this one. When you click on here, it will prompt you to start downloading. And if you have seen that it will be required, will be required to sign in or to create account, there will be an option to create account. All right, go ahead and click on start download and you will wait for the download to be done it can take a uh, much time or a uh, short amount of time according to the uh, speed of your internet but because i have this setup on my system i'm going to go ahead and cancel this one and i will navigate to where i i loaded the setup and it is on my downloads on the complex and you can see there will be this huge file that weighs like uh, 2.989 gigabytes all right Go ahead and right click on this one. You can go ahead and press on extract file if you have the WinLAR installed. But you can use also the 7 zip. You can also unzip this. Go ahead and click on extract files and press OK. And you wait for the extraction to be done. Let's bring the process here. all right core once the extraction is complete you can go ahead and let's see let's cut this one i'm going to cut this uh extort this folder cut and you go on the local disk c you're going to create a new folder and you call this one oracle hi hyphen 19 c like this one and after I do that you can go ahead and i uh, paste it here wait for a bit all right once the extraction is complete and you have su successfully uh, cut or removed the folder from here you can go ahead and open this one when you move down you move the cursor down up to the the way down you can see there will be the setup go ahead and double click on the setup and accept it and to restart like this one so you have to wait to wait to see all the folder uh, installation wizard and you can see it is loading the driver so you have to wait for a bit all right and you can see it will bring the two uh, options the way the fit is to create and configure a single instant database and there will be another option to set the software only i want to leave it on the first uh, option so i will go ahead and press next and it will also ask me if i want the desktop class or the server class I am going to rave the default as the desktop class. Go ahead and press next. And in this case, it will ask you for the Oracle Home user. And I am going to use the uh, the, the Britain account, the Windows Britain account, uh, in order to avoid uh, forgetting all the credentials that I can be setting here. So it can be very hard for us to remember in the coming days or coming configuration. So let me go ahead and choose the windows britain account so as i will be using the same credentials go ahead and press next and it will give me this prompt to go ahead and press yes again 
and the weight for this one. All right. Once we reach here, you can see that it has successfully detected our Oracle 19 folder that we created earlier so as to avoid uh, or some errors. You can go ahead and change this if you want to, if you have another location that has a space that can store all your data. And when you take a closer look, there will be a global name and that is for OLCR and there will be the password that you can also set on here and the pluggable database name which is the OREC OLCR PDB and you can go ahead and set the password as OLCR2 and I'm going to put OLCR and you can use the strongest password if you need this and uh, because I don't want to make this very complicated, I am going to leave this the same as the password so as to showcase. But if you are going to, to perform a serious installation on your systems, you have to use the strong password so as to ensure the security is granted. All right, go ahead and press on the next again. And it will give me this warning that the password entered doesn't, doesn't not confirm. The Oracle recommended the standards that what I was saying earlier for the strong password, but for the sake of showcasing a demonstration, this is okay. I'm okay with this one. Go ahead and press yes. And to restart to perform the, uh, the prerequisites so as to see if it will be compatible with our system. It doesn't take uh, much time. I, I think it is now done. You can see that it is a uh, successfully uh, checked our prere prerequisite and we are ready to go and we are okay by here. Go ahead and press on install. And we have, of course, to wait for the installation to be done. And so let's wait for this and we come when the instruction is done. Once you reach here, you can see that we have successfully installed our database and this will be the uh, express URL. You can go ahead and use this one to access your, lock, your database and you, or you can go ahead and uh, make this and close this one and or you can go in the run and you type cmd when you try to make like this one and press enter for this command this that is called the dbca we see that the database uh, will start and you can see now it is loading like this one you can see there will be an option to create database and you can go ahead and press next to create the database uh and and you can continue with all this one and you will see all the steps like this one. For the sake of making this video short and neat, uh, I'm going to stop by here. You have successfully installed your Olaco database. I will continue again and show you how to create the database, but the installation in context was that one. And I hope you guys find this video interesting. Let me know in the comment if you met with any error or any warning or any problem. I will be here to help like always. And if you are coming on this channel for the first time and you find it interesting, go ahead and sub me. Go ahead and subscribe. Create the red button. And don't forget to press the like if you liked this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.